and just turn it totally on silent. Right, let me give you that. Holy dooly, that's a, that's a TV. It's massive. <laughs> so hit space when you're, uh, oh. when you're ready. What year was this actually? 2011, I think? At 28, Michael Matthews can afford to take a trip down memory lane. Ever since his debut season with Rubberbank in 2011, the Australian's career's been a continuous story of ups and downs. Through it all, he's delivered on the enormous expectation, and there's a sense there's more to come. And this is me thinking I'm a rock star, I think, walking uh, through Beverly Hills. I think I just moved to Europe, so was, uh, I was living in Belgium. Um, not really knowing uh, what the next step was, just living from day to day, basically. Yeah, looking back now, I was uh, really uh, had um, no idea <laughs> what I was in for, what the roller coaster ride was going to be like. Is that a good one? Yeah. In recent years, spring has become a remarkably busy period for Matthews. Such is his versatility, one-day races from the Belgian opening weekend right up until the new look Liège Baston Liège are all ones he could win. But such an intense block of racing isn't phasing the Sunweb star. Just to be able to, to race for a team and for a team to totally support me in uh, the races that I'm really targeting, um, to have the full backing from, from everyone around me supporting me and uh, for me to get out on the bike and do what I love every single day. It's so much fun. I've been working for three and a half months. It's a lot of uh, mixed emotions going on at the moment with um, lots of positives and some negatives, not really knowing how you're going. So um, yeah, it's really exciting. So far this season, a missed move at Omloop Het Newsblad and a race ending crash at Paris Nice seems almost a replay of what was a desperately unlucky 2018 spring campaign. One that started off in the worst way possible. It was difficult, mentally really difficult. Um, crashing in my first race and breaking my shoulder was um, yeah, not what I expected, obviously. It was probably one of the most difficult times of my career, really. Um, and then, uh, yeah, through, all through the classic season, um, some doctors were telling me to race, that I could, uh, I was okay to race. Some doctors saying you shouldn't race because your shoulder is going to make it worse. So in my head, it was really, I didn't know what to do. It was all really uh, a bit of a, yeah, what's the word? <laughs> really like a tornado year. But bouncing back has become somewhat of a trademark. 2018 was a prime example. After much soul-searching, world tour wins in the Tour de Romandie, the Bing Bang Tour and both Canadian Grand Prix proved once again you should never write off the man from Canberra. To be able to change it um, in Bing Bang Tour and then to Blue A and then to Canadian Classics, to be able to change it like that and finish on a high was um, yeah, something I didn't think was possible. The people around me kept me really motivated. I started working with a mental coach to be able to keep me focused and um, know and believe in myself that I was good enough to beat the best guys in the world. And um, yeah, I was able to change it. With the mental coach, it makes it um, a lot easier to deal with it because it's someone that's not indirectly within the team or my family, but someone outside of my circle that will really tell me the honest truth. Um, which, not saying the team or my family doesn't, it makes it easier for me to say everything out loud and not be judged on it. I think it's working really well and I'm really uh, relaxed in my mind now, always uh, smiling as I was before, so I think it's working good. His 2017 switch from the Green Edge squad has clearly benefited Matthews, not least for winning the green jersey at the Tour de France in that first season. Since then, though, Sunweb's structure and cobbled race know-how has been key to the 28-year-old's development. I think I've progressed a lot more of a, as a leader in this team. Um, in Green Edge, I was probably just one of, one of the guys. We had so many leaders there that it was quite difficult to really be the leader of the team. The guidelines of this team are much more clear and everyone knows what they have to do. 
for me, it's actually a better working environment that I know what, can I, what I can expect out of my teammates. I've done a lot more recons this year, so to know a lot more about the races, know where I'm at in each race, which climbs are coming up. Um, yeah, everything to do with the details of the race, but also my positioning on the bike, my uh, efforts out in training to make sure I can uh, have a lot of in the seat power rather than out of the seat power because it's a lot of the climbs are seated. So I'm learning quite fast, but yeah, there's obviously still a lot more things that I need to learn, but um, yeah, I'm super excited.